everyone, this is Mrs Edwards bringing you your numeracy lesson for today. We are still looking at addition, but today we are going to focus on finding and making number bonds. So today's target, I can add using number bonds. And the way we're going to check if we can do that is if we can find number bonds within number sentences to help us complete that number sentence. So you will need paper and a pencil. You may also find useful number lines, counting objects or tens frames today. Okay, true or false? I love these questions. 7 add 3 equals 10. So, 17 add 3 equals 20. Is that true or false? Now you could have a go at proving or disproving this using your tens frames or using your counting objects or even using a number line. So it's up to you how you figure it out. But is it true or false? Pause the video, work it out and we'll have a look on the next slide. It is true. So if you take away that, that 10 there, it just says 7 add 3 and we can see in this 10 frame here that that's true. 7 add 3 does make 10. And then if you change 7 to 17, you are just adding an extra 10. You're adding 1 10 to the, to, the, to the equation, to the number sentence. So when you then look here, so you've got your 10 for your 10 in the 17, then you've got your 7 in red, so the red all symbolises the 17, and then you've got your 3, which is shown here with the 3 yellow ones, and if you look at those two tens frames, you know that that's a 10, and that's a 10, and it's two tens, which makes 20, because 20 is made up of two tens. So it is true, 17 add 3 does make 20. So that's a really nice pattern, 7 add 3 makes 10, 17 add 3 makes 20. Okay then, so it says... Complete the additions, so complete the adding number sentences, complete the additions to match the 10 frames. So you can see I've got two separate colours here to show you what the addition is. So we've got how many here? So pop that down in this box. How many red ones? Pop that down in this box and then fill in what those two numbers add up to make. Now I'm hoping you're all yelling, it makes, because we know what a tens frame is. So I hope you all know what it makes. And then here, we've got two tens frames. So the total is not 10 this time, it is, hmm, yeah, think about that. And then think about what the equation is showing, what the number sentence is showing. So we've still got this amount here which is going to go in this box, but then you've got to check how many all of these red counters are, because that's going to go in this box, isn't it? And then, what's your answer? What is the total? What do those two amounts add up to be? And put your answer in there. So pause the video, work it out, write the, write the numbers in the correct places, and we'll check on the next slide. Okay, so... 2, 1, 2, 2 goes here, and we're adding 2, 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, so there's our 8, and you almost don't need to check, because we know that the answer is going to be 10, because the tens frame has been filled up, 2 add 8 is a number bond of 10, it's a way of making 10, it's a number fact, it's a number bond, okay, then here, We've added another 10 into the mix, haven't we? Like our um, true or false question this morning, we've thrown in um, an extra 10. So this time it says 2, so 2, two still says the same, but it's not 8 anymore because we've added an extra 10. So instead of 8, it becomes 18 because you've got your 8 here 
and then you're adding on 110 which makes 18 110 and 8 extra ones is 18 and again you almost don't need to think about it because how many counters are there it's two tens and two tens makes 20 so that's a really visual quick way of seeing um, a number sentence you've got two counters and two counters in yellow 18 counters in red and the total is 20 well done you ones if you got that right okay complete the additions again it's the same question so how many have we got here write it down how many have we got here write it down what's the total you should all know the total year ones look what is the total you should all know this box and then here similar question again how many is here how many is here check again we're adding that extra crafty 10 that's all i'm going to say I'm not going to not going to give you any more clues I'm just going to say, look, there's another crafty 10 just there. So just think carefully about what you're doing, okay? Which numbers are staying the same, which numbers are changing. Have a think, pause that video, work it out, and we'll have a look on the next slide. Okay, so one, two, three yellows. I'm putting three here. Then that leaves me with seven. Four and three is seven. So I know that's seven, I can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven goes here. And I know, because I'm using my tens frame, that three and seven is a number bond of ten. I know that because I can see it. I can see that three add seven is a number bond of ten. Now, on the next question, we've got three. And then there's our seven, but it's not just seven anymore because we've added an extra ten. So instead of it being three add seven, what has it become year ones? That's right, it has become seventeen because seventeen is made up of one ten. There it is, there's our one ten. And seven extra ones. And there are our seven extra ones, our seven extra bits to make 17. So three add seven is 10. Three add 17 is 20 equals 20. So well done if you got that answer correct. Great job. Okay, so when we were doing these questions, what what did we notice so this is quite a quick question you don't need to pause the video for very long but what did you notice have a quick look and we'll check in a minute so both of the numbers were number bonds of 10 so 2 and 8 were number bonds of 10 and 3 and 7 were number bonds of 10 but I also noticed that when you added an extra 10 into the equation it moved the answer straight by another 10 so instead of the answer being 10 when you add another 10 you've got to you've got to um make that answer 10 more haven't you so the answer was also 10 more once you add a 10 in the um adding section it changed the answer to 10 more too so i i liked that and i thought that was very good so well done if you notice that they were number bonds of 10 and that the answer changed by 10 because we had added 10 more. Okay then, so complete the number bonds, okay? So all of these number sentences here are um, linked to number bonds. So 4 add 6 is a number bond of what? 4 add 16 is a number bond of what? 10 is the same as what number bond? So what number bond, 1 add something makes 10. What number's going in here? And then 20 is equal to what number bond? So 1 add what makes 20? Now, variety of ways you can figure this out, guys. You can use your counting object if you want to it might take you a while though because we're using quite big numbers today you might want to use your number line 
maybe do some jumps, figure it out. You might want to use tens frames. It's up to you how you figure it out, but we need to answer those number bond sentences. So pause that video, give it a go, and we will check in a moment. So, 4 add 6 equals 10. It is a number bond of 10. And you can even do this quickly on your hand. If you put four fingers down, you will see that there are six fingers left. So it's a number bond of 10. Now, in the same way that we've been doing all lesson, when you add an extra 10 to your adding numbers, it changes the answer to 10 more. So here, 4 add 16, in the way that 4 add 6 makes 10, 4 add 16, because we're adding that 10 there, this answer needs to be 10 more, so it becomes 20, okay? 4 add 16 is 20, and if you put 16 in your head and count forwards, we've practiced that, so 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and I've just checked and I know it's correct. Here, 10 is equal to, it's the same as the number bond, 9 add 1. Okay, 9 add 1 equals 10, it makes 10. And you can do that quickly, if you put one finger down, there are 9 fingers left. So I know that the answer is correct. You can also check that with, um, it's really good on a 10 frame. So I don't know if you want to quickly get your 10 frame. And if you colour one counter in one, you can see that the rest is nine. You can see there's nine left. So you, you know that that's the correct answer. And then here, 20 is equal to 19 add one. And I know this is correct because this question here was 10. Well, this one is 20, so I know I need to have an extra 10 somewhere. Now, if I'm looking at these two answers, here's one, here's one. Now, if that's 9, if I knew that was 9, I know that 1 and 9, it's, it's got to have 9 somewhere, because 1 and 9 is a number bond. But I need to get that extra 10 in, because... The answer is 10 more, so I knew it had to be 19. And if you put 19 in your head, 19, and add one more, 19, 20, I know that the answer is correct. So well done if you worked really hard at figuring out those answers. A little bit tricky, I thought, today, but there are lots of ways to do it with your number lines and your number bond, your number, um, frames, your tens frames and your counting objects. So I'm hoping that we're we're doing a good job today. So last couple of questions now we're on to the last stretch. So five add five equals what? Five add five equals what? You can use tens frames, fingers, number lines, but pop that answer in. Then the next bit of that answer, five add fifteen is what? Look at that extra 10, what will that mean for the answer? Okay, your clue is in the first question, it will influence your second question. So this one, 10 equals 3, add what? 3 add what makes 10. And then 20 equals something add 13. Think about those number ones to 10. Think about those number bonds to 10. What's going to go here? Pause the video, work it out, and I'll show you the answers on the next slide. So, 5 add 5 makes 10, that's right. So, 5 add 15 is going to make 20, because I've added 10 into the question, so I've got to add 10 into the answer. So I know that's correct. And then here, 10 equals 3, add 7. I know 3 and 7 is a number bond of 10. So I've now got 10 more for my answer. So I'm now working with 20. But I've already, can you see this? I've already got a 10 here. I've already got a big number here. So I don't want another 10 number here because that will be too big. So the answer for this one is 7 add 13. You've already got the 10 
here, the extra 10, and then 3 add 7 is the number bond that makes the other 10 to make it 20. Does that make sense? So you've got your extra 10 here, and then your 3 and your 7 makes the other 10 to make it 20. If you'd have put 17 here, you would have had too many 10s. It would have been too big an answer. So well done if you got the correct answer for that page. Okay, we are really close to the end now. So complete the bar models. So we are still looking at number bonds. We're still looking at two numbers to make another number. But this time we're looking at number bonds to 20. Okay, and it's exactly the same even though the, the um, bar models have been flipped upside down. It still works the same. So... 20 is the same as 8 and what number? So, use your number lines, use your 10 frames, I don't mind what you use. But what number is going to be added to 8 to make 20? Now, you might be thinking, hang on, she's, Mrs Edwards has been telling us to think about number bonds. So, think about what number bond goes with 8 to make 10 and then think about adding on that extra 10. That might be a way of doing it. Okay, so think what number goes with 8 to make 10? Because I can do that, that's an easy question. And then you just need to add an extra 10 in, don't you, to make it 20. And the same with, with C, it says there's 4, and what else is going to go with 20? What else is going to go with 4 to make 20? So instead of worrying about 20 being a big number, think about what number bond goes with 4 to maybe make 10. And then once you've made 10, you just need to add an extra 10 on to make it to 20. Am I making sense? Pause the video, have a go, and I'll show you how to work it out. Okay, so let's check. Here's our 20, and we were given 8. Now, I know that 8 add 2 makes 10. I know that it's a number bond of 10, I know it does. I can do it on my fingers, I can do it on a number line, I can do it on a 10s frame. I know 8 add 2 makes 10. But I'm not trying to make 10, am I, year 1s? What am I trying to make? I'm trying to make 20, but I do know that 10 and 10 makes 20, because it's two 10s. So if I know that 8 and 2 makes 10, I just need to add my extra 10 in. So I need to have 12 there instead of 2. Okay, because there's one 10 and then 2 and 8 makes our other 10. So two 10s makes the 20. And then the same here, 4 and 6 is a number bond of 10. I know that, I can show that. I've done it with number lines, I've done it with 10s frames, I've done it with my fingers. I know 4 and 6 don't play tricks. They're a number bond of 10. So... If I know that 4 and 6 makes 10, and I know I'm trying to make 20, which is two 10s, I just need to get my extra 10 in there. So I need to write 16 instead of 6, because 6 and 10 added on to 4 makes 20. So well done if you could figure that out. Well done. Okay, I've got a feeling this might be the last one now, I think. So, same deal again. Okay, same deal again. Making 20, you've been given 17. What number is going with 17 to make 20? Now you've got your 10 here already and then you've been given a 7. So you need to think about what number is going to go with 7 to make it 10. You've already got the extra 10 here. So you need to be thinking very carefully about that small number that's going to go in there. And then here, you can't really tell very well on the, um, on the board, but this line is right in the middle of 20. So this number and this number are equal to one another. They are going to be the same number because that, that line there is in the middle of 20. So you need to think about what two numbers added together make 20 and they need to be the same. Okay, so pause your video, work it out and we will check on the next slide. 
Okay then, so 20 is equal to 17 add 3. We know 7 and 3 is a number bond of 10. So we know that once we've added, once we've got our number bond to 10 and we add it to this 10 here, we've got our answer of 20. And then here, here's our 20 answer. And I said the numbers had to be the same and that it was an equal amount and it was smack bang in the middle. And I know that 10 add 10 makes 20 and I can show that with tens frames or I can show that on the number line or I can even do it with my hands if I just put my hands out twice it makes 20 so well done now this is the last I promise it's the last job and it says colour in all the number bonds to 20 now if you don't want to colour them in because it's a it's going to take a long time to um, copy this table out what you could do is just point to the number bonds to 20 if you wanted to but I will say if you can draw it out and if you can write all those number sentences in there the the end product is really cool so um, I'll just say that so if you want to pause the video and write it out you can or you can pause the video and just look for the number bonds that make 20 so remember you're looking for a, for a 110 and then you're looking for those two number bonds that make the other 10 okay so you just need to make sure that your two numbers added together make 20 okay so pause that video find me all the number bonds and I will show you the answer on the next page okay then so can anyone see what is really really cool about the finished product I'm going to show you now look at the shape that we have made by colouring in the number bonds to 20 how cool is that? We have made the number 20 or the numeral 20 by colouring in all the number ones to 20. So let's pick up a few. 5 add 15, yep, yeah, that definitely makes 20 because I've got 5 and 5 is 10 and then the extra 10 makes the 20. 0 add 20, oh that's a nice easy one isn't it? Definitely know that makes 20. Um, 2 add 18, well I know that 8 and 2 makes 10. And then throw our extra 10 in there. We've definitely got 20. Any more, any more. Oh, that's a nice one. 10 add 10 definitely makes 20. 20 add 0. We've had similar there. 0 add 20. 3 add 17. Yeah, there we are. 3 and 7 is a number bond of 10. And then our extra 10 there makes 20. Yeah, so really good job. Hopefully you found them all. Now, I have got a little challenge for you. Um, oh, hold on. I've gone too fast. So what I was going to say was, if you enjoyed doing that game, my challenge, my numeracy challenge this week is, can you do your own sort of maths riddle? So can you draw your own table like this? And maybe you do number bonds to 10, or maybe you do number bonds to 5, but can you do your own little chart like this? Where, say if you picked number ones to ten, when you coloured in all the correct ones, the, the, the correct ones made the shape ten in the chart. If you want to, work with a grown-up and you could maybe do your own maths riddle and then get your grown-up to do it. That would be so good. You just have to remember that you have to do some questions that are wrong. Because if you did them all right, what would happen? You'd, they'd colour in all the chart, wouldn't they? And that then it wouldn't make the special magic number at the end. But if you want to try really hard and make your own maths riddle, your own maths sort of game, um, work with a grown-up because I think that would be really fun to do. And especially if your grown-ups come back maybe from work or from their walk, you can say, quick, do this magic maths game. And I think it would be really fun. Now, today we said we were looking to add using number bonds and I think we've done that really, really well today. We were able to find the number bonds within the sentences to then make adding a little bit easier. So I think we all deserve to be giving ourselves super smiles. If you found it a bit tricky today, if you found it a little bit difficult, please don't panic. 
we will keep working on it and you can always revisit the lesson at a time when your brain is ready to do more brain box work okay so don't panic if you're a bit worried today you thought oh, i wasn't sure about today's lesson that's okay we're here to learn and we are here to keep practicing so well done now i love looking at your work you know i do so if you have any more work to send me please message me via whatsapp on 08 no not 08 guys 07858986604 or email me at year one at wrens-nest.dudley.shoe.uk or when you're out and about on your walk come and drop your work off at the post box on our driveway at school and i'll be able to have a little look um at it okay so another well another lovely job well done guys it's been wonderful having you in our numeracy lesson again stay safe take care and i will see you very soon bye bye